My name is Bilge. I'm from uh, Istanbul, Turkey. I speak Turkish, English, um, a bit of Spanish and also a bit of Persian, actually. Uh, nice to meet you, Bilge. I'm Niam Batar, but you can call me Niam Bat for sure. Mongolian is my native language, but I also speak English and a little bit of Hungarian because I studied in Hungary for two years. But now I'm in Mongolia and uh, um, in the capital city, Ulaanbaatar. I work here. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, what we have here is uh, a few words that we're going to compare. And uh, some of them are uh, not too complicated. They're going to be pretty simple. Uh, in But in some cases, it's a little bit challenging. So if you need to assist each other, you can give each other some hints. Uh, and then in the end, we just do a short sentence. So the first Turkish word is bal. Bal? Bal. Um, it sounds like bal. We have this exact same word in Mongolian, but we have two different words for it. So I think maybe it's honey or a pen. Yeah, Which bal one? is uh, honey in Turkish as well. Honey. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. So the first Mongolian word is sahal. Can you repeat, please? Uh, sahal. Sahal. Oh, so it's like beard. Yeah, exactly. Um, sakal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it is altın. Altın. Yeah, altın. Altın. Um. Is it something made of gold? Yeah, it's, it's like the gold adjective. itself, actually. <laughs> yeah, describing something that's made of gold. Yeah, very good. Like you get it in the first try immediately. Perfect. <laughs> I must say in Mongolia because we say altan something. Okay, okay. Yeah, and this is this is like altan is uh it can be a noun and it can also be an adjective in Turkish, basically. Next Mongolian word is two. Tool. Is it with like, an uh, L in is it with an L in the end or the last the last letter is L? It's like cool. two. Is it like a uh, desert? Yeah, it's desert. Ah oh, yeah, we say chul. Chul, ah uh, okay. The third Turkish word is chichek. Chichek. Yeah, chichek. Um, it sounds like uh, titik hmm. in Mongolian. It means flower. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's flower. It's so good. <laughs> uh, the next Mongolian word is alim. Alim. <laughs> alim, yes. Is it about buying something? No. Uh, is it a toy? No, it's not a word. It's a, it's a noun. It's a noun? Is it a fruit? Yes, it's a fruit. Yes. Is it apple? Yes, it's apple. Yeah, okay. Yeah, very good. Um, in Turkish, it would be elma. Elma. Yeah, elma. Okay, very, very similar, actually. Yeah. Uh, the next Turkish word is alçı. Elchi. Elchi. Ah, Elchi. Mm -hmm. um, it sounds like Elch. In Mongolian, it means uh, someone who you send to someone else to convey your message, right? Yeah. I don't remember the English for it. An, an ambassador. Yeah. It's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah, ambassador. The next Mongolian word is darim. Again, please. Uh, darim. Darim. Oh, is it um? How how wait how to say it in English? Like um, 
is it this specific word that you use in a specific field to describe something? Like, um, I, would say I don't know. General word, I would say. So it's a word in general? Yeah, it's a general. It can be used in everyday life. Think about like a quantity of something. Oh my God. It's like half. Yarum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it means oh, half okay. or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting. The fifth word is Aslan. 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 It, it sounds very much like Arslan. I just add one letter, R, and it means lion in Mongolian. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> That's true. And sometimes even we say Arslan, actually, like, um, because it's also a human name, and they use it also like Aslan or Arslan. Yeah, but I would say Aslan is more commonplace. Okay. Yeah. It's almost the same. Next Mongolian word is Ambar. Ambar. It's Ambar. barn. Barn, like a yes. storage. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. exactly yes. the same. <laughs> so this one, I think that the, the way you pronounce it in um, Mongolian, because you add more to it. Anyways, I, I don't want to give too much away, but I think it, this was going to be a little challenging. But let's let's give it a try. Okay. Okay. Song. So, so on, so on. Uh, yeah. The vowel is ah or or both. Both. Okay. Yeah, so, it's both. So. so, just just one mm. hint here. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the soft G in Turkish. Yeah. Uh, so because you would you wouldn't say it the same way. Yeah, think of it like a consonant uh, connecting the vowels. Okay. But you don't pronounce it? Uh, we do, actually, okay. but it's very uh, hard to hear. And usually people who are not native speakers have a hard time hearing it. Okay. <laughs> so... Uh... Is it something you add to your meal to make it tastier? Yeah, it's an ingredient. Uh-huh. Is it a vegetable? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's sangen in Mongolian. Like, it means uh, onion in English. Yeah, it's onion. Oh, OK. <laughs> exactly. Yes. So on is onion. <laughs> the next Mongolian word is Char. Char or char? Char. Sh. Char. Char, yes. Is it like Siri? Mm, no. No. So just, just keep in mind that it's not sh in Turkish. The beginning is more like a s. -S yeah. Yes. Is it a color? Yes, is it yellow? Yes, <laughs> yeah. Correct. Yeah, we would say sir. Sir. Yeah. Uh, so it is a uh, you. 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 Um. You. Is the first letter different in Mongolian? Yes, and remember one other word where that the same thing, the same shift happened. Uh huh. Mm. Is it year? Yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, Jew in Mongolian. Oh, okay. Yeah. The it's, it's, it's become... it's yeah. yeah. Okay. The last Mongolian word is uch. Uch. Is it a um? Sorry, uh, what was it? Is it a verb? Uh, it's a noun. It's a noun. Uch. Uh, is it three? 
Number three? No. No. Um, it starts with good sound. Gooch. Yeah, so is it like gooch? Which is power? Power, yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was really good. Like I said, some of the words are a little bit more challenging, uh, but I think it was uh, it was still really good before we move on to the sentences. Uh, one thing I wanted to say, also, uh, it, it's it's worth mentioning in a video like this one, is my name, because in Turkish, the the the, tur the way that my name is pronounced is Bahadir, right? Bahadir, like, yeah. yeah. Have, have a Mongolian word for hero? Yeah, hero. Which is my name actually yeah the last part of my name butter it means hero tradition mongolian my uh the butter becomes bagator mm. it's pronounced mm. differently it's more similar to your name yeah exactly exactly yeah. so i i, I thought it, it's it's worth mentioning that here as well so my, my name could have been one of the the words for the video as well <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> Okay, well, that was very good. So now we're going to do the uh, sentences. So let's start with the Turkish sentence. The Turkish sentence is um, süt çocukların gelişimi için önemlidir. Can you repeat? Yeah. Süt çocukların gelişimi için önemlidir. Wow. Uh, what was the first word? Süt. Uh, it sounds like su, which means milk. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, okay. exactly. Milk. So the rest is uh, süt, çocukların gelişimi için önemlidir. Mm, I think I, I will just guess. Someone spilled the milk. No. It means uh, milk is important for the development of children. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, like for their growing up process, more like. So the Mongolian sentence is Is the first word one? It has four words. Uh, no. No, okay. Can you repeat? B. Sarmis. Kirchik. Torgui. Is it garlic? Yes, it's garlic. Okay, it's so different actually. We call it Sarimsak. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, and, and you can repeat the sentence again. Uh, oh it's about chopping yeah it's about chopping. yeah the, the, the last uh the verb i recognize okay so yeah i i i understood that someone is chopping garlic yeah but the <laughs> but verb in the sentence is the last one actually not the chopping it means not liking something Oh, okay. So it's like somebody doesn't like chopping. Yeah, I don't like chopping garlic. <laughs> yeah. Very, very interesting. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I, I agree. I think the same. Yeah. Yeah, it was quite challenging, actually. Yeah. Thank you as thank well. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Too.